Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel Learn to Become an Animator. In this video I am going to show you how you can create this wonderful looking anamorphic billboard into the blender very easily. I am going to show you the whole process how I have created this animation and how you can take the final output of the billboard to run on the actual screen. So let's begin. So first of all what you have to do is that you have to select one place the picture or the picture which has been provided by the client. So you have to create one camera from the same angle or you can create your own camera that doesn't matter. If you want to take final output and want to give it to the client then you have to take the right picture like right locations from the viewers point of view and create the camera. To create the camera I have created one tutorial to create the camera you can see here how to create the camera for the billboard I am going to put the link into the description so you can check it out and you can create the camera and the 3d space very easily all right so let's jump into the blender and what I have created I'll show you so in the blender you can see here I have selected this picture and I have created the camera and I just brought the camera into the blender after that I have created the 3d space so here I'll just do the 3d viewport so we can see the 3d space very easily here is the camera is the 3d space you can see that's a very important thing after creating the 3d space you can create the frame to make it even more interesting so frame is a little bit outside of the 3d space so that gives more interest and we can after rendering you can see the nice we can give the different texture different material to the space and the frame frame is very important because the all the objects which we are going to animate it should come until the frame it should not come out of the frame so the final render we are going to do is the tilt frame okay i'll show you that so i have created the frame and one by one i have created all the objects after that i have just extracted one screen from the same frame you can just from the frame you can use one edge and you can extract that and you can just fill and create a whole screen so this screen is very important you can see i have just created one screen and i have animated the box coming out of it so here is the box and the wristwatch and i'm going to show you how i have animated you can see i have animated the box slowly scaled up and opening here rotating opening and the wristwatch is appearing so in the perspective space you can see i have animated wristwatch out of the 3d space but in the camera view it should not go out of the frame because if it is going out of the frame it's going to cut it's not going to be rendered in the final all right so make sure if you animate anything it should go until the frame not outside this bottom part we are not going to worry about it because we are going to render only this part in the final output because outside everything we are just cutting down by giving one holdout space or the holdout material on the geometry now to make it more interesting i have added one shutter you can see so the door is opening the box is appearing box opening and the watch comes out and rotating and going back and the shutter closes again so this is the whole animation now if you think that how we can eliminate this part for that also i have created one holdout geometry you can see here in this 3d space if i'll change it to solid you can see this geometry the same geometry i have just pulled out from the frame and pushed in little bit okay and i gave the material call holdout material so holdout material is nothing but uh, you can give the principal bsdf and from here you can select this holdout so it's not going to render it will be the transparent and the background is visible in that so if you see in the render mode you can see that so this is the final thing we are going to render if the animation is final everything is done then you can render the whole sequence from the same camera view all right for that you can just set it to cycles gpu and you can 
change the resolution here fps uh, you can set the frame rate and change the path here and you can render so you can see i have already rendered the whole sequence from the same angle i'll show you the in the process further process how it's going to work okay you can change the path you can change the make sure the png and the rgba so that alpha is going to render this all the background will be the transparent okay now in the 3d space if you don't want to see this you can go to the camera and you can switch off this background okay if you want to put the background you can put it from here or you can switch it off and you can render the sequence make sure not using the max cycles here okay make your denoise is on and use gpu all right and in the color management you can make it filmic and the high contrast you can check it out here very high contrast has going to look how is going to look medium and the high contrast will be good okay and trace f12 so you can see the image i forgot to show you what i have used for the lighting so for lighting i have just used hdri so in the global node you can just go to here in the environment tab and put the hdri this realistic uh sorry this resting place hdri which i have downloaded from the polyheaven.com so i'll put the link into the description you can download it and you can use it and also i have used one more area light to give even more effects some lighting here so based on your requirement you can do the lighting and just render it now the first thing what you have to do this is the 3d thing okay which we have rendered is all the 3d elements and the 3d space so it will definitely look the 3d but we are going to project the same render onto our screen so now i am going to switch off all the elements everything except the camera this other all things i am going to switch off okay and switch on the screen now we have the camera and the 3d screen just go to the shader editor apply principal bhdf and go just assign image sequence or you can just search for image sequence here and go to render connect to the color and you can see here the whole image sequence will appear if it is not working like this because we have to project from the camera to do that just go to modifier tab if you have given any bevel or um, anything just you can apply before going ahead and add one more modifier called uv projection map select here uv map and from here you can select the camera so i am going to use this picker and select the camera so here you can see our image is visible but it's not perfect so expect ratio we have to give it here 1.777 seven eight something you can give it now here we can see our whole animation if it is not playing just go to shader editor select the image sequence press n if this modifier tab is not visible go to node and and click on the cyclic and the auto refresh after that you can see the animation is visible but this appearance is not good this is not looking right so we have to match the shader of our screen select the screen go to the material property and screen should be flat it should not reflect anything so increase the roughness here and you can increase the metallic things as well little bit you notice that this screen is not proper this jig jack is coming because of the screen resolution is not high we have to divide by giving more divisions press control r by going the edit mode and add more segments now the our projection is perfect the render setting you just go into the render setting just make it ev so it will play nice and looking distorted here from any other angle but in the camera it will look nice so our projection is ready but now the main thing is uh, we have to take the final output of it so to take a final output there are a couple of ways we have to flatten the screen by selecting each and every vertex 
from the top point of view but there is a one more way to flatten the screen very easy way I have found it so for that just select the screen and go to the vertex uh, group node in the vertex group node you can go to the UV map and make it one more UV group here just click UV node and just uh, rename it UV2 to, to remember alright after renaming uh, we just have to go to viewport again just select the screen go to edit and select all the faces and again we have to apply one UV projection so for that just make sure you are apply the conformals here and in the settings always make sure you are doing this uh, these two and here select the add okay so this setting is very important and our UV should be like this in the corner so once you do this just go back and make sure our cursor is on the 3d space so select the cursor and make it to the world origin so cursor is here all right after that just we have to apply a geometry node just assign geometry node here in the geometry node search for the set position node so you can find this set position node here from your select and geometry to the position so you see the it's our screen is disappear but nothing to worry now go to modifier tab in the geometry node and click here on the position node and select the uv2 when you select that our screen is flattened Wow, oh, that's the magical thing how easy it is right so this is really good I just came across set position node and uh, it's very helpful to take a final output okay now if you see the our render final render it's already stretched and everything to take a final output we have to create one camera and uh, exactly we have to match in front of it and we can take the distorted output to play into the final screen for that I would suggest just apply everything which we have created geometry node and the UV projection and before that if you have done this duplicate screen that will be helpful otherwise we have to go back and open the file now just select this screen set geometry to the mask so it's in the center now selection to the cursor so our screen is in the center all right now from the top angle we have to create one camera and rotate the camera 90 degree okay just make the 3d view so we can see the camera here okay in the camera make sure you select the our camera that's camera 2 and now just move the camera up all right go to camera select the orthographic and scale down to match exactly go to resolution tab and match the resolution and go to EV now once you set the camera and all the resolution we have to render this camera the whole sequence the distorted animation once you render the whole sequence of the distorted animation which is for the final output now it's time to apply on our main screen and check how it's working for that just select the screen and make sure there is no modifier on the screen if it is there you can apply and it should be the plane on the screen we are going to assign as a image sequence from the shader editor so select the image sequence connect to the principal PSDF. now you can see our images are not visible just because of the UV now we have to do the UV projection again for the screen just select the screen go to edit and apply the smart UV projection to check side by side you can just bring here UV editor once you apply the smart UV projection you can see it's not matching perfectly to the our screen our distorted image for that just we need to scale up and the rotate accordingly
our whole animation is looking perfect on the screen without any projection and this is how we can provide the final output of the image sequences for the final screen hope you understood the whole process if you have any doubt you can type into the comment box so i can answer that thank you very much and see you soon happy animating if you like my tutorial you can subscribe and share thanks a lot